Guten Tag, Hot Wheels collectors. So we have a new casting, I believe, because this is a relatively new vehicle in the real world. It's called the Volkswagen ID Buzz. It's an all-electric van. So it's number 10 of 10 of the 2023 releases from Hot Wheels. Number 173 of 250. All right. I actually saw one of these parked uh, in a lot, maybe a few months ago. This uh, van was started production in June of 2022, so it's been uh, being produced for a while, but I, I guess certain countries don't have many of them yet. It's uh, not a cheap van though. It's 50,000 US, 65,000 euros, but here where I live, they're probably like $140,000. <laughs> so when you see a Volkswagen here, it's not the people's car, it's rich people's car. All right. Uh, that's not English, I know that. Here are the views. I'm going to go for those wheels. I'm going to 3D print my own versions of those. Those look kind of plain yet cool at the same time. Yeah, well, I got to say, uh, the bottom part, you know, looks pretty good. It's just that the, the whole top is that clear plastic and they didn't paint any of it. This is a mainline release, so maybe one day they'll do a better version, but not sure. Starting off though, we have a nice metallic yellow. That's nice. I guess one could consider it gold, but uh, I see it as a yellow for sure. And then there's a, you know, a white paint stripe going around and that becomes part of the front hood. And yeah, you're not gonna get the paste, best paint uh, from a main line, but yeah, some missing there and there. But we got the nice Volkswagen logo printed on there. And then we also have some tiny little white lines going around the headlights and then the headlights have that painted graphic so it looks pretty much better than just plain and then uh, this is okay I guess here and then we have this big grill which I guess is kind of body colored and openings as well according to those photographs so I guess you'd probably I might want to add some black paint in here no license plate whatsoever though okay all right going around this side we have the door handles are 3d molded and then we have, uh, okay, yeah, two mirrors. Yeah, that's nice that they had the mirrors. I didn't really even expect those. Uh, yellow, yellow paint has a hard time covering up die cast, so you see the darkness of the edges, but that's every brand's problem. It's not just Hot Wheels. <clears throat> okay, we got some uh, printed on taillights. I don't know if something went wrong here. Something doesn't look so great there, but it's still better than I could paint it. So, yeah, I do feel like maybe there's, they probably have a black paint process first and then the red on top, but somewhere along the way it, it's, it went wrong. All right, the text here is quite legible and it's also on the license plate. Looks like the logo is a little bit offset, but no biggie. And it's actually nice that they went through the trouble of adding the red paint here for these reflectors. So it saves me some work. There's actually a little dimple here, though. I don't know if... Uh, that's meant to represent a light bulb or if it's just part of the casting process but it's on both sides so it seems to be a conscious decision I don't know maybe they're ejector pins when they come out of the mold or something no I don't know I don't know plastic base uh, tells you what the thing is and then uh, when it was made and who made it so just a press fit I'm not a big fan of but it's all good around that uh, the scale. I almost forgot the scale. So this is the short wheelbase version. I can just tell when you look up pictures of the long wheelbase version, this door is just massive. But this must be the short wheelbase version. So the good old Wikipedia is saying the wheelbase of the short wheel, I'm assuming the, the short wheelbase version, is uh, 117.6 inches which is 2988 centimeter, uh, millimeters, so 2988 divided by 64. This wheelbase is supposed to be 46.68. I can go off the, the humps here in case the axles are warped or something. Yeah, this isn't remotely close. I mean, 46 would be more like 46 point, all right, so that's, that's, this is a lot smaller than it should be, all right. 
All right, let's get back to measuring that. I'll punch it into that number, 43.63. 40, All right, dividing that main uh, wheelbase by 43.63, this is more like 68.5 scale. So it's uh, definitely small. It's too bad. <clears throat> So the whole top here is smoked gray plastic. It's nicely molded, right? It's just that all this should be white. Maybe they'll do like a premium version. What's nice though is you can actually see the interior kind of because it's, you know, some lights getting in there. So we have some a gray interior and we got the pizza pan, small pizza size pan, uh, or steering wheel, nice seats there. All right, and then the back is, where's that, oh, you know what, There's, they don't have that weird column that you find in Hot Wheels, you know, the anti-crush for the kids. So I'm not sure how they got around it on this one, because wouldn't a, a kid step on this maybe, and maybe this is polycarbonate, this plastic. Yeah, I don't know, but it's definitely, I don't think I added those scratches, did I? It's, it hasn't been that long of a video, but that windshield is really messed up. But, yeah, and, and then it's really hard to polish the, this plastic. It, I think you need to, like, use uh, floor polish or something like that, but... All right, a few other bits from Wikipedia here. There's three power trains. The short wheelbase has, like, a 200 horsepower equivalent electric motor. There's a long wheelbase with the 280 horsepower equivalent. And then there's supposed to be a four-wheel drive coming out with, like, a 340-ish horsepower equivalent uh, electric drive system so I'll be back so here we are with some uh, original equipment wheels it's just that I didn't paint them this whole intersection is supposed to be painted black but I have a feeling I would totally mess that up so I just left it alone uh, I added some black paint in the funky grill, but sadly, you know, the paint and the casting isn't very deep, so the diamonds don't show up so well over here. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, everything else was done by Hot Wheels, to my recollection, so that's it. Just reused the stock axles, 3D printed tires and wheels. So, here are the wheels, by the way. Uh, let's see, it's hard to look at both, but... They're kind of aero, right? That's the whole intention. I just want to show some other ones. Uh, this is a cool colorway. I'm going to guess those might be Volkswagen wheels. But these two here are custom jobs. Those are really cool. They're like old DTM wheels, but, you know, they have a graphic of holes. But they're, I think it's a flat surface. And then this thing's cool because it's got a Porsche livery. All right. Well, let's take a look at a few other vans. So they may not be to scale. This one is a majorette, and it seems to be missing a screw. Oh, it's not that. It's because it's press fit together. Yeah, so that's too bad. I 3D printed my own wheels here. They're supposed to be like a cityscape, like a round city like Moscow. So tall buildings, short buildings, that kind of stuff. Some go holes go in, some protrude out. Uh, all right, uh, another one that's definitely not the scale is this uh, X-Car Toys, and I have these Hot Wheels kind of aftermarket alloys on there this thing is 150th scale it's a real shame it's like a old Daihatsu high jet but the Chinese version if this was scale I would definitely keep it but it's just so massive it looks ridiculous uh, to scale we have a Previa van and the first generation sadly I don't know who makes it but if it's got steering wheels, I almost think it's a Kang Fai or possibly the GCDs steer. You'll have to search the channel. I did review this, but I can't remember this. I have over 2,000 videos here. But it's really strange, you know. It's just these brands don't label the bottoms of their products. They, don't, they can't take credit. I can't even tell you who made that, right? That's poor marketing. All right, this is a good old B.A. Baracus van. My go-to van by Greenlight. See, Greenlight at least tells you they made it, and they tell you what it is. I don't know why that's so difficult. It seems to elude so so many other brands. It's, it's silly. I assume that's to scale. Vandura is a pretty big van. But whatever, we're talking about Hot Wheels, so they're inexpensive. 
Although where I live, they're actually kind of expensive. They're like $4 here. So that's why I don't get too many anymore. But every now and then there's a cool one. And if I don't have to paint the stuff, like the tail lights, then I'm all for that. So that is it for today. The Volkswagen ID Buzz. It's a cool van. Uh, I would definitely drive that for if I could. But uh, they're really expensive here again. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next Hot Wheels video. Bye.